Hey, what's up, universe? It's 4.28 p.m. on Monday, July 31st, 2023. Just some strange synchronicities here. Um, I received an email. Let me back up a little bit. A couple days ago on LinkedIn, I saw... I'm going to forget the guy's name. There's some volunteer organization that uh, is here in Kansas City, but it's got a couple other locations, like one in Chicago and somewhere else. Um, I believe I believe that a, an ex-Chiefs player um, like helps sponsor this organization. Anyhow, I saw it on LinkedIn, and I started checking it out, and I was like, I, la- I allowed myself to be like, yeah, I'd like to be a volunteer. And so I just received an email from a woman named Rochelle Law, and she's like, hey, thanks for your interest in being a volunteer. You know, here's a link to sign up. And I think um, maybe the next opportunities are in September because her email was like, scroll to, you know, September, you know, to sign up. Um, and then at the bottom of the email was the full quote of Marianne Williamson uh, about, you know, how um, just about, uh, and I would read it to you, um, but I can't, uh, right now, uh, how do I want to say it? It's the one where she's talking about, like, you know, we're all children of God, we're all meant to shine our light, you know, um, about how, you know, our fear isn't of being inadequate, it's the, we're actually afraid of our power, you know, and, um, it's the full, it's the full entire quote, And the reason this is interesting and synchronistic is because uh, Jeremy, the guy that I met at Date With Destiny in 2018, that I did the uh, Inspired Life Challenge with like a week or two ago, he started another 20 day, 21 day abundance challenge. And that started today. Jeremy introduced me to that quote, or at least maybe not, it could have been could have been my friend that I met at Advanced Biotechnologies. What I do remember, though, is that Jeremy totally, we talked about this quote, and he connects with this quote often. And so it ties into this, what's, you know, okay, that's synchronistic, like, what's going on? Jeremy's starting a 21-day challenge. I received this email that has the full quote. I have used this quote often and just recently used this whole quote Uh, So what I'm trying to get at is that it keeps coming up in recent history, like within the last, like literally it's probably shown up four or five times in the last two weeks. Um, And then the reason I smiled about the name Rochelle Law is that the woman that I went to go visit at Osteo Strong that owns that, her name is Rochelle and she's a lawyer. She owns the Osseo Strong. Her background, though, and her profession, uh, at least what she used to do professionally, was a lawyer. So um, I'm just kind of, I'm humored by that. Um, Don't know what it means. Again, it's just synchronistic, I feel. And I'm like, all right, all right, this is interesting. Um, And I'm sitting here, too. Like, I went downstairs, got a box, and, you know got my clothes packed up and I am I'm feeling uninspired to do any of this you know what I mean like when I left my when I left Al's house which was the house that I moved into after the divorce like when I left there like there was inspired action I could feel it in my body like there was motivation when I left uh, Andy's house same type of thing it's like okay like there's reason like moving I'm doing this When I left Mark's house, which was the house that I was just at, I was like, okay, there's a reason, there's motivation. I am not feeling that here. What I feel more inspired to do, like there's still definitely a letting go, right? I feel inspired to burn a lot of things. I was, you know, going through my stuff, I'm like, well, I can't take this with me. And it's not the kind of thing that I would necessarily donate some of it is like my clothes like there's a there's a tailored suit that I have super nice suit 
uh, custom shirt that I had because when I started releasing my weight, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get some clothes that like show me off, right? And like, and so, but I don't, I don't know. It's all energetic to me, you know what I mean? And so, I feel inspired to go through and find the things that energetically need to be released and burn them. Because <laughs> that's what I've done. I've done this for years. I've released so, so, so much energy this way. Um, and perhaps by doing that, that'll open me up to what's next as far as maybe feeling inspired to continue packing, uh, that kind of a thing. Um, and these fire rituals, and the, and the full moon is tomorrow, you know, and I've already written some intentions, so I'll probably go ahead and just do it a little bit early, because tomorrow around 1.30 p.m. is, like, when the full moon is. Um, I won't be able to necessarily do that here, you know what I mean? At least the way it looks now, because Jason's going to be here in the morning, and I need to be gone. Um... But yeah, definitely am feeling more connected and energetically inspired to, to release these things that I'm not taking with me wherever it is I go. And if for some act of God I'm able to stay, <laughs> they don't need to be here. That suit, like, I don't wear it. Uh, and that's not really the point because it's energetic. Ah, man. Mm hmm Anyway, I just thought I'd capture that, put that out there, that um, that's what is coming up for me right now, to be completely candid and honest, is to find these things to, like, energetically remove. And I find it curious because, like, when I went through the, you know, the last house, my house that I left, like, just two months ago, three months ago, uh, I was already doing the same thing. There's a whole lot of stuff I released from, because, you know, going through and paring down and being like, okay, that's not coming with me. That's not coming with me. And it feels the same way. And to be something I haven't mentioned before too, uh, financially, um, from my last video, a couple of things. One, I said, you know, thank you for my money. And I do, Jason just sent me a text. I don't know what that's about. Um, I I still say thanks for my money, even though I've literally been penniless and I'm in massive amounts of debt. I still say thank you for my money, even though by all appearances, I don't have any, but I still say thank you. I still express gratitude to the universe for things that I will get, things that I will receive, you know? Um, and then... The other part is that, uh, you know, I have been penniless before and I, you know, everything is energetic. Money is totally energy. And I've definitely felt that part of the process that I've gone through before of getting down to zero is part of that purge and part of that energetic release and part of the transformation process of like letting all of that energy go. like. I'm such a feeling and energetic person that like to me it makes a lot of sense of the death and rebirth cycle. I'm hugely connected to the death and rebirth cycle uh, of just going all the way down and then coming all the way back up. You know what I mean? And as I've said before, I am human. You know, I have a human reaction to these types of experiences, even though, um, even though I've experienced them, uh, they can still be very disturbing. <laughs> but I wanted to mention that I do view going down to zero as part of a transformational process. And again, I'm not ever looking to do that again. I don't need to do that again. I just wanted to put out there that I view it as part of a transformational process, uh, or at least part of my transformational process. Um, all right, that's what I got. I love you guys. I'm curious what Jason sent me, and I'll keep you updated. I may be back here in just a second to let you know what that is. All right, I love you guys.
I'll talk to you later. Bye.